to take its toll. A roll past the pond, up to Stewart and Levine, crash pond, and there's going to be a penalty. Levine chased away. Bond mixing it up with Levine, then Stewart mixes it up with Leach. They're all standing in front. Then Armstrong goes after Brewer. Then Brewer and Levine mix it up. Then Olmstead goes after Gendron. Gendron still trying to get a shot at Olmstead. Vaughn and Leach trying to mix it up. Olmstead goes after Gendron. They're really boxing. Olmstead still chases Gendron. Chasing him around the ring. Now that Olmstead gets a hold of Gendron. Armstrong and Stewart. And Stewart gets on top of Armstrong. Stewart still has Armstrong in a headlock. Stewart number 12 on top of Armstrong. Olmstead trail trying to catch up with Gendron. Now then Levine is being chased to the penalty box. So is Olmstead, so is Gendron Fong. Now you saw that fight that spread like wildfire right across the ice. Everyone seemed to be in it. And this Eddie Powers always seems to get into a jam sooner or later. And this one was no exception. Referee keeps skating around trying to find or count noses. Armstrong and Stewart had a, a hugging jewel on the ice. You can almost hear Stewart say to Armstrong, are you ready to say uncle? Olmstead is the first one to be directed into the box. But this is one of the big fights of playoff games. Certainly isn't the fiercest one or the longest one, but it certainly will rate with one of the most spread out fights because they were all over the ice. There goes Olmstead into the box. He's talking to the Boston players who sit next to the penalty box as he goes in there. We'll see who follows him. Gendron hasn't gone off yet, either has Labine. Vaughn is still out there. Olmstead is the only one in the box so far, but there'll be several in there before it's all over.